Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. And I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for gang day. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Midway Mutants battle. The Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he rumbles for nine on that play. That'll bring up second and one. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Watching out for that dirty trick. Second down and ten. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. Bring up second and one. Third and four. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. He could go all the way! And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First.
first and ten. punish the defense and you better believe they will and it's first and ten that's a catch for a ten-yard gain second down the size of bricks wiener Sorry, partner. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Third and four. For someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Stuck to him like glue. <laughs> Second down and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. And he's running like a moose right now. First down! This guy just... And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. It's 
first and ten. Ten yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. Second down in inches. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and a pussy here. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Third down and a sliver. It looks like... And he pulled out a change and now he's... Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. And it's first and ten. that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and two. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and two. Just a great run for a touchdown. Man, he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Well, that's how he spends his entire offseason. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He is fighting for every yard. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. And another interception. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? I'm a house camel and shiver. I am a hell of a fellow. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. His way out, and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third and two. First down. Give this guy a few catches. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. He's not going down. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second and three.
third down and six. Now the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. Well, and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outfit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw him. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing or just marking his territory. <laughs> Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh man, he really wants it. And it's first and 10. The quarterback had no time to throw and the defense gets a big sack. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Huh? At least they can pee for me, too. Oh, nice. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Third down and, well, good luck. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. 
or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. about six on the play and they are out of timeout the clock just became their greatest enemy really the clock the clock win i can smash a clock that's not a great enemy we're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon we're talking about the mfl you moron oh great play he is on that receiver like glue you know when i was little my dad used to make me eat glue Father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Hot one, hot two, hot three. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Ah, uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsy time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And like Brick's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Person. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly now this one's gonna be tough i hope he has a good enough leg for this one i saw him trying one on before the game it looked okay i think not my type though a little it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> it's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. Get up, get up, get up. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. He picks up 
nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. for a first down this with the vicious kill did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25 i didn't know that yeah right below attending bachelor parties and owning a sam schlong galaxy phone and it's first and ten game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know, there might not be an I in team, but this guy's eyeballs are up. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> First and four. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and two. Boom, dead and down. Sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. And that'll be second down and four. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense schmuck. Four. Oh, and he just ran. He just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. And the kick is good! Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Boom, and he's dead! Oh, bingo! Bingo, bingo! I got bingo, Grim! The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. The defender blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. Second down and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. It's 
lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Third down and three. to the moon another loser bites the dust in the nfl winning is really about how much you want it bricks well he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy that's a good point grim the motor city maniacs get their butts whipped and lose by forfeit it's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit they weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway the fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't i love that fan passion Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Brickhead signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...